Okay, this is the Chandler Germanium compressor from Chandler Limited. On the left-hand side of the unit, we have the compressor in and out switch. Then we have the gain reduction meter that only shows gain reduction. It is not switchable between input and output levels and gain reduction. It only shows reduction. After that, we have the clean and dirty switch. When in clean mode, this eliminates the first order harmonics and leaves the second and third order harmonics. Following that, we have on the first yellow knob, we have um, the input level. After that, we have the side chain detection circuit, which is basically a high pass filter that eliminates low frequencies from the signal path, triggering the compressor. After that, we have the ratio. After that, we have the type of uh, compression circuitry you want to use. And this is really cool because this allows you to use uh, a Zener type of a circuit, a silicone based circuit or a germanium based circuit which is very cool we'll get to that in a minute after that we have the blend control and this blends the compressed volume with the uncompressed volume which is very cool after that we have your attack your release um, a link switch a germanium drive output and a feedback which is basically another output level okay what i'm going to do is i'm just going to play a loop of a guitar part and I'm going to play around with some of the different features and so you can people can see and hear um, what this unit really does. It's probably one of the most versatile compressors for tone shaping, not for fixing so much as tone shaping um, that I think I've ever used. So without uh, much further ado, here we go. Let's compress her out. Compressor in. Switching to a different compressor circuit. We well, can really hear the difference in that one. Now we'll try the Zener mode. Totally different shape. Now I'm going to speed up the attack time. With the attack time speed up, um, you'll start to notice that the leading edge of the transients off the guitar start getting shaved off. Watch the meter. Really squishing the front end on that. We'll slow down the release now, see if we can get some hang on that. Okay, so that's with some of the side chain frequencies in. So I'm going to take the side chain completely out so the full spectrum signal is triggering the compressor. We're going to move up to the first setting. Not a ton of change right there because the program material doesn't have a lot of low frequencies. Next one, we should be starting to hear it a little bit. starting to come up. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the dirty switch, the clean and dirty switch, and we're going to switch it up to clean. This will remove the first order harmonics from the unit. very 
subtle difference, but it's on the top edge of everything that's being played. Put it back in to, to dirty. That's pretty cool. And then we're gonna go try some different ratios. Different type of compression. A little bit brighter setting there. Okay, so now I'm gonna set this thing up to really squash this thing, and then we're gonna blend in the uncompressed signal up underneath it. That smashed pretty good. Now here comes the uncompressed signal underneath. So now you're getting the mix of both, the compressed and uncompressed. Kind of cool because that retains a lot of the life of the original track, but keeps a lot of the uh, kind of leaping transients in line. Now for contrast, we'll go all the way to uncompressed signal on the blend knob. It's all the way uncompressed side. Back towards the compressed side. Pretty dang cool. Now, on the right side, you've got two different types of drive. You've got a germanium output drive right here, and then a feedback drive that feeds the uh, output back through the input section of the compressor again. Bring some of the uncompressed uh, signal back in. That's compressor out. And that is the Chandler Germanium compressor. Thanks for watching.